Hey guys, welcome to Orion Aerospace. I'm your host, Non Flannel, and today we're going to be talking about a lot of things. Yeah, so as you remember, uh, we were going to do some launches with Spectre uh, with F Series motors, uh, for some more height, some, more, some better test. A lot more height. Um, and we went out on three different occasions and tried to do that, had technical problems every single time. But about a week ago, we got out, uh, got out to the park, got everything set up, um, and we were actually able to fly. Unfortunately, the test didn't go so well, um, and the rocket had some problems. So the F-Series engine caused too much strain on the thrust vectoring mount, and uh, it was unable to thrust vector in midair, and it hit the ground pretty hard and shattered it in half. Oh, wow, look at that. Yes. All right, so as you can see here, we have an F motor in our thrust vectoring mount. This F motor produces a lot more fire than our E motor. And because of that, the strain on the, the thrust vectoring mount right here, with all that force, made, increased the friction so much that the mount was unable to vector the engine. So there are a lot of kind of inaccuracies with our current design and errors with how we build it and stuff and it just it can be kind of finicky and challenging like we have to shove the computer like all the way down the tube when we're building it uh, and then like have it in a certain position so we're gonna we're gonna start kind of back at square one we're gonna build from the ground um, and we want to try to make uh, our design better and more modular I guess you could say to make it a lot easier to change things like on the launch pad or at the launch um, and easier to set up the rocket when we're actually come time to build it. So our new rocket is going to have one key design difference that our others haven't. So normally our rockets, there's a vector on the way up, but this one however is going to go and land propulsively. Well, in order to do propulsive landing, we need to have some more precision, some more attention to detail. In order to do so, we're going to do what we call real engineering. That basically means we're going to do some stress simulation, some fluid dynamics, uh, better CAD models, better uh, kind of documenting what we're doing. Uh, we haven't been doing a very good job of that, so just all that together will help us uh, have a more better rocket. All right, so with our new real engineering videos, we're hoping that we're gonna document that and make a lot more new content for you guys and also diversify a lot more from beyond that, just so that like the range of videos that we're producing and also the rate at which we're producing videos has increased a lot. And yeah, so we're, we just been, we been slacking a little bit. So uh, obviously it's been a big gap from our last video. So we're, you know, we apologize for that, but we have been working pretty hard. So uh, trying to get some stuff out. So we'll, we'll do better. Yeah, uh, we have a, a video coming up pretty soon. It's going to be a lot of fun to film, uh, so get excited for that. It's a little bit different from our other videos. It's a little different, but, but yeah, it'll be fun. Yeah, so that's about it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow us on Instagram at Orion Aerospace. On Twitter yeah. at Aerospace Orion. Orion, yeah. Yep. Um, and the, the Twitter account's new, and we're yeah. hoping to get some cool stuff up there. And oh, yeah. Some, some uh, secret content will go up on the Twitter account, too. So, yeah. Yeah. That's <laughs> All right. it. Thanks Thank for, you watching. for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Patreon. Right. Patreon. <laughs> Say it. He Say did it. it. Say it. No, 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 no. Rockets out. Rockets out. Rockets out. Press P to Patreon. <laughs>